अभी रिकॉर्ड करते हैं ऑल दिस टाइम वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग यूजफुल वंस ओनली या टेल मी शिशु टेल मी शिशु माया लाइन इज आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर देन शिव कुमार कैन यू टेल मी शिशु टेल मी सुनीता सर शिशु किशोर एंड तरुण नाउ इट इज and another category tharun plus it is the limit is increased to 20 lakhs sir super tell me what is the limit up to kishor sishu sishu for 50000 for kishor 50 to 5 lakh rupees uh, hmm. for tharun 5 lakh to 10 lakh rupees for tharun plus it is 10 lakh to 20 lakh one minute one minute hold on just a minute hello hello Hello, are you able to hear me? Thomas sir, how do you do? Vanda cha, very good. Congrats, congrats. Eppa vanda che? Today only. Neeti night vanda cha. Congrats, congrats. Happy sir. Thank you. Apna na me me meet pan raha hoon le. Thank you. Yeah. or uh, it is becoming yeah you can even come at 330 also no problem yeah 330 we will go out for half an hour walking thank you yeah yeah good sorry sunita you were telling something i was asking about mudra loan please tell me about that sunita ji you so were only talking be... Yes, sir. Hmm. So there were uh, there are four categories for uh, taking loan. First one is Kishore. Uh, it is up to fifty thousand. For uh, sorry, sorry, no, Kishore, no. Sishu fifty thousand. Kishore fifty to five lakh rupees. Tarun five lakh to ten lakh rupees. And for Tarun plus, it is ten lakhs to twenty lakh rupees. Super. Good. So when was this? Tarun, uh, what is that? Um, Sishu Kishor Tarun plus when was it introduced? So recently, in, uh, October ya yeah, September. Sorry, sir. During the October budget, month, they have increased. No, no, this was uh, introduced uh -huh. in the during the budget last time in July. And the important point, finance minister told was, this scheme is available for those people. who have cleared their loan under tarun then they can again avail another one correct yeah so this point is to be noted now can anyone tell me what is pm swanidhi scheme pm swanidhi scheme can anyone tell me what shivakumar you don't know Yes, sir. I know, sir. Tell me. It's a uh, it's a stand for Pradhan Mantri Street Vendor Atm Atmanirbhar Bharat Yojana, sir. Hmm. It provide a loan facility of up to uh, it provide loan facility of total eighty thousand rupees. Uh, for first phase, it uh, provide ten thousand rupees loan. For second phase, it provide up to a uh, twenty, uh, not up to a uh, twenty thousand of rupees loan. And uh, if uh, repayment is done, uh, done, then uh, it will provide a third phase of loan. Uh, it is around, it is fifty uh, thousand rupees. Correct, but don't use that word eighty thousand. I think nowhere I saw that. See, if you are just ten, you will get twenty. If you are just twenty, you will get fifty. Understand? Okay, sir. Yeah, very good. You told nicely. But why did you not mention about the pavement vendors? Ah, uh, hello. You uh, must see uh, this. I, I, that, uh, that is the success in interview. In interview, we should use the catch words, key words. Okay, sir. Right? Just okay. as a uh, in search engine option. What is search engine option, Shiva Kumar? as uh, a uh, search engine um, it uh, takes a key point 
and it provides a detailed information on key points. Yeah, that is how search engine option only helped Harsh the way to get my website's details because he okay, would have sir. searched. What is the word you searched, Harsh the way? Tell me. RRBPO mock interview, sir. Achha, achha, achha. Very good. RRBPO mock interview. So that would have got brought you um, my channel. So likewise, in interview, if you use the catch word and tell the interviewer will be very happy. Could you follow? But again, it is a different thing that is what words uh, I give importance for some words. Some other person may give importance for some other things. But broad points you must be able to tell. Okay, good. Okay, sir. Now we will go to who can answer me. Um, Maya Makwana, can you talk to me a few points about financial inclusion? Yes, sir. Uh, financial inclusion. Uh, uh, financial inclusion. Me. Sorry, sir, I am not. No problem. Who can answer me this question? Financial inclusion. I think we have discussed this topic more than once, twice in the class. Um, anyhow. Let us see I... what it is. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is financial inclusion? Are you seeing on the screen? Yes, Are sir. You able to see? Yeah, please read that, um, Maya Makwana. Yes, sir. What is financial inclusion? Financial inclusion referred to effort to make financial product and service of accessible and affordable to all individual and business, regardless of their personal net worth or company size. Yeah. Not only that, in one one boy told me in one interview when he told this, they said you must use the word provide service in unbanked areas. So use that word also. Okay. Okay. Unbanked areas. Good. And um, there are a lot of schemes that have been done by our government for getting this done. Uh, can you tell me, Sunita, what are the schemes that government has introduced for achieving financial inclusion? Sir, uh, there are social security schemes like uh, Jandan Yojana, Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and uh, Suraksha Bhima Yojana. Correct. Apart from and that, also Atal Pension Yojana. Sir. Then one more scheme is there for the sake of girl children. Girl child. Maya Sukanya Samradhi. Samradhi. Good. Sukanya Samradhi. What, yes. What did you say? What did you say, Maya? You had some other thing in mind? No, sir. Same. Yeah, Sukanya Samradhi, you must know some details about it. Who can tell me some details about that? Sunita, you know that? Because you are a girl. So you must know that. Sunita. Yes, sir. Uh, what I know is, hmm. uh, sir, uh, a girl child. Uh, in the name of in the name of girls, a girl child, we can invest some amount for helping our future, like uh, for higher education and for marriage and all. Up to uh, fifteen years, yeah, sixteen years. I don't know, sir. I am not sure actually. Ten years, sir. Mm. 10, years. 10 years. No, no, no 10 not years. 10 years. No, 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 not 10 years. See, the girl child, up to 10 years, you can open an account. Yes, Here you see, you are seeing on the screen, minimum deposit 250 rupees, maximum deposit 1.5 lakh in a financial year. 
Maya Makwana, what is a financial year? Hello, kya hua? Is it such a difficult thing? What is a financial year? Financial year, uh, um, one April se start okay, three, 13 March tak pura hota hai. 31st March. Yes, sir. Good. Very happy you told this. What is a calendar year, uh, Maya? Uh, 1st uh, January se, uh, 31st December tak. Super. Good. Sukanya Samriti, as I told you, minimum 250, maximum 1.5. Similarly, there is a scheme known as PPF. What is the expansion for PPF Srinivasa? Tell me. Public Provident Fund, sir. What is the minimum and maximum in a, color, in a financial year? Well, I don't know, sir. 500 rupees minimum, maximum okay. 1.5 lakh. The interest rate paid now in Sukanya Samridhi is 8.2%. The interest paid in PPF account is 7.1%. Could you follow this now? Yeah. Yes. Very good. So these are all financial inclusion schemes. You know, actually, this um, Suraksha Bhima Yojana, only 20 rupees premium. So um, then Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, only 436 rupees premium. And you know, they are covering the risk of how much? 2 lakh. 2 lakh, sir. 2 lakh rupees. So, and supposing you want to cover the same thing from some other insurance company, they will ask minimum 5,000, 6,000 for that per year. But here the government is taking only 436. That is why it is called as financial inclusion. Now, can anyone answer this question? What is What are the direct and indirect taxes? What are direct taxes and indirect taxes? I will search here, but you tell me. Yes, sir. I want to try. Please tell. Direct taxes are the taxes which customer uh, pays uh, as a additional charges. Mm. While indirect taxes are uh, the taxes which are uh, imposed by another uh, uh, seller or uh, producer of that uh, service to the customer. Mm. Can you tell the examples? You can yes. explain with examples because this definition is not fully covering what you have in your mind. So I you can tell direct taxes, sir, examples are this, this, this. Indirect taxes, example, this, this, this. Finished. You understand? And right. uh, the one only definition is they are levied directly on the person concerned and yes. indirectly on the person concerned. Tell the examples. Uh, for example, direct taxes, uh, if someone uh, earns salary mm. uh, uh, above the uh, slab, uh, predefined uh, slab, then he have to pay the uh, income tax to the government. While indirect taxes are when someone uh, uh, take hotel services like food uh, mm. or other services offered by other uh, hotel uh, industry or some petrol pump uh, like. So there mm. uh, customer is uh, uh, paid uh, that uh, inclusive taxes with that. Mm -hmm. Here you see they are telling clearly yeah, tax may be defined as a pecuniary burden uh, laid upon individuals and property owners to support the government, a payment exacted by legislative authority, a tax. Um, in fact, this definition appears to be lengthy. Um, that is, a tax which cannot be shifted away is known as direct tax. For example, income tax. Taxes on income 
other than agricultural income is direct tax duties on customs including export duties then duties of excise and tobacco and other goods manufactured then corporation tax then taxes on capital value of assets exclusive of agricultural land then estate uh, estate duty i am not sure whether it is there now duties in respect of this is also not there i think whether it is very old one material this is a book uh, it has been taken from a book uh, um so that is a thing but indirect taxes means you can tell about um, the gst gst is a in indirect tax say here they are telling the difference as corporation tax property tax and all because i this is sl slightly outdated these taxes are not there now gift gift tax is there now these are all very old one now it is not there indirect tax they are telling indirect tax is a tax collected by an intermediary such as a retail store from the person who bears the ultimate economic burden of the tax an indirect tax is one that can be shifted by the tax payer to someone else and indirect tax may increase the price of wood so that the customers are actually paying the tax by paying more for the products some important indirect taxes imposed in india customs duty central excise duty sales tax now this is outdated because this material is not having details of gst and all it is outdated this has been written some hundreds of years ago we can go into this one this is the latest one types of taxes in india direct tax indirect tax i will give the link of this in our whatsapp group wait a minute ibps rrb i am giving the link in that you can study that in detail later on but suddenly we will see some brief points um direct taxes mainly you tell income tax personal property tax what is fbt i don't know what is fbt anybody knows fbt anybody knows what is fb fb tax what is that fringe benefits tax fringe benefits tax is a tax paid by employers on certain benefits provided to their employees or to their employees family or other associates fringe but i have not come across that frequently fringe benefit tax where are we now where did i leave yeah i was here mm, one minute i lost track of that yeah so please remember all of you income tax personal property tax that will that alone you tell sufficient indirect taxes um conversely indirect tax is a tax levied by the governments on goods and services therefore it can be shifted from one tax paying individuals to another example wholesaler can pass on to retailers who then pass on to customers therefore customers bear the brunt of indirect taxes the central board of indirect taxes administers indirect taxes mm. indirect yeah it is given clearly here goods and service tax excise duty sales tax is no longer there now that's all so this is what you can study from this that will help you know more ideas on direct taxes and indirect taxes these are all asked in 
last year. Yeah. Next from here. Mm, is there any Acha Maya Makwana is a IT engineer? I can ask her this question. Um technical mobile charger kaise charge karta hai? Maya, you know that? No, sir. No. Mobile charger kaise charge karta hai? Just a minute. Just a minute for five minutes. Is there anybody waiting? No. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So that was a question on this one. Now, the next question, we will go here. These are all easy. What are your hobbies? How will you do to improve your skills? See, actually, when you tell hobby, they will ask some related questions about that. You must be able to tell. What is Newton's law? Newton's first law, second law, third law. Any science graduate? Any science? Sunita, you are science? No, sir. Sinivasa? Yes, sir. Are you a science graduate? Yes, sir, but physics not my subject, sir. <laughs> Very clever. Very clever fellow. Good. No problem. Then, um, who is the deputy CM of your state? Sinivasa? Sir, uh, Mr. Pawn Kalyan, sir. Pawn Kalyan. Very good. Can you tell me what are the major exports from India? Sir? Major exports from India. Uh, sir. Major exports. Sir, I, I don't know. Sir. This question can be asked for anybody. This question can be asked for anybody. Major exports from India. These are the major exports. All of you, please note down. Leather and its products. Petroleum products. Gem and jewelry. Automatic, automobiles, equipment parts and electronic goods. Pharmaceutical products. Organic and inorganic chemicals. Dairy products. I think this much will do. So many are there. But this much will do. But for harsh the way and all, not harsh the way. Oh, that boy has gone. Na? Mm, Shiva Kumar has gone. For agriculture candidate. No, sir. No, uh, sir. I'm here. Here, Acha. That cereals. You have to tell cereals. about cereals, dairy products. Okay. These things you have to tell. Oh. And in fact, I would expect you to be ready with what are the Agricultural products exported from India. What are the agricultural products imported into India? Please prepare for that question. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Which country is the largest producer of wheat? Shiva Kumar, what is the answer? Uh, uh, sir, uh, I think uh, Brazil, sir. It's, no, not Brazil, sir. Mexico, I think, sir. No, I don't think what you are telling is correct. Anybody can China, answer China. this? China, China, China. Correct. No, no. correct. China only. Wheat maximum product, production country. China, you are right. China leads the largest wheat. What, Shiva Kumar, you don't know this. Why? China leads the largest wheat producer globally. Similarly, rice, I, which country maximum production? Sir, it's also Ch China, sir. Is it so? Uh -huh. Rice production by country. 
which country is China. Super. Now, what has helped them to have more production? One reason can be area. Their area okay. is very big. Their area is big. Countries by area size. Which is the largest country? Russia. Russia, Russia correct. Russia is the largest country. Then comes Canada. Ah. Then third, third is China. Fourth is United States. Fifth, Brazil. Sixth, Australia. Seventh is India. Okay, I am giving the link in our WhatsApp group. Yeah. Now, what are we discussing? We are discussing these questions. Good. Then, um, what characteristics do you have which helps bank? Who can answer me this question? What characteristics do you have which helps banks? Please tell me, anybody. Yes, sir. Tell me, Arshdavi. First of all, patience in hearing is oh. the first uh, quality a hmm. uh, banker must possess. After hmm. that, decision making and timely uh, perform the task are the three hmm. uh, most required uh, qualities of banker. Hmm. How many types of loans are given to farmers and what are those? Many of you are not able to tell me the answer for this question correctly. I request you to go to the website of your RRB and study in detail and get to know and be ready for an answer for this question. What are RRB's main function? Difference between rural, urban, semi-urban, metro city areas. Can anyone explain this? Difference between rural. Rural means up to 10,000 population. Then semi-urban means up to 1 lakh. Then urban means 1 lakh to 10 lakh. Above 10 lakhs, metropolitan now, in Indi India, initially there were only four or five metropolitan. But now we have many metropolitan centers. See, initially it was only New Delhi, Bombay, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Chennai. Now, India has got India metropolitan cities. If you put uh, so many will come. List of metropolitan areas in India. Bob, Bray, Bob. Only 60, 17. No, no. Only, achha. only 17 areas are there. I am, oh, oh. urban only more. This is a list of metropolitan cities by population in India. As per constitution of India, a metropolitan area is defined as an area having 10 lakh or more comprised in one or more districts consisting of two or more municipalities, panchayats. Here, national capital region, Delhi, then Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, then Hyderabad, Pune, then Andhra Pradesh capital, uh, Hyderabad, na? correct. Uh, Hyderabad, yeah. Then Surat, this has not been updated. Vishakapatnam, Jaipur, Lucknow, Kanpur, Coimbatore, Salem is also more. Oh, Baba, Madurai. How can it be? Is Salem a metropolitan? 
I am not sure. What is the population of Salem? Can it be that much big? Population of Salem, Tamil Nadu. Why only 17, uh, is 17 places are given here? Population. Achha, it's a metropolis. Oh, oh. Population, how much is given? Roughly, country, India, Tamil Nadu. Mayor is Ramachandran, DMK. Then, council, metro rank, pin code, literacy. Literacy is 84. Not bad, Baba. Population, I am not saying. Ah, uh, eleven lakhs eighty nine thousand in two thousand eleven. Now it must be thirteen, fourteen lakhs, fifteen lakhs also. Good. Anyhow, doesn't matter. Please get to know such details. Now, next we will go for next question. Uh, what is important about today? Can anyone answer me this question? What is importance of today? Sunita. Osur Sunita. Uh, Tell me. Sinivasa. Children's Day, sir. Number 14. Correct. Good. Very happy. Thank you, sir. Your interview is going to be on which date? November 20, sir. Then you find out what is important on that date. Okay, November sir. 20. Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru. Birthday day. Oh, Indira Gandhi. Achha, achha. Now, they, they not only ask today is important, yesterday is important also. Please go through that. Okay. Okay. Then our Shivakumar, please answer me this question. What are crop seasons? Sir, Karif season, Rabi season, Z season, sir. No, no. Karif, Rabi, another one, what? It's a summer season, sir. It's also called as Z season, sir. Yeah, what are the crops grown in Karif? Uh, mainly rice, wheat, maize, and... Uh, uh, and some of the oil seeds crops, sir. In the Karif season? Sir, now only I told Karif season crops, sir. So, sorry, next one. Karif, another one, what? Rabi. Uh, Rabi season, sir. Wheat, barley, and uh, yeah. wheat, barley, some of the vegetables, sir. Achha. Uh, rice will not come in Rabi? No, sir, it's come in uh, Karib season, sir. Achha. No, no, but is, does it mean that it cannot be cultivated during uh, Rabi season? No, no. Rabi season means no, which sir. month? Which month? Win winter season, sir. Uh, winter season, October to uh, February, sir. But normally they will do harvest only in uh, Pongal, na, January. So in Tamil Nadu and all, sir. even during, yeah, tell me. Sir, uh, nowadays uh, different varieties are developed for uh, all of the seasons, sir, for rice. Exactly. That's what I say. I think they are growing throughout the year also. Oh, yes, sir. Very good. Next question. Um, Harsh Dave, please answer me. Two clerks are fighting with each other. How would you manage being an officer? First of all, I will listen to them and uh, try to identify what is the issue between them. After that, I will uh, uh, I will explain them uh, or uh, I will explain them uh, two probable solution. What are the uh, possible solution? And uh, if uh, again uh, that is not solved by me, I will approach higher authorities. No, one minute before I forget. Jitin, Jitin, 
Are you there? Jitin? Yes. Jitin, I asked that question only for you. Karif, Rabi, crops, you know. I asked only for you. If you have any doubts, um, you can talk to Shiva Kumar. Uh, I will give you his number because he is not a member of our group. Huh? Um, Shiva Kumar, can I give your number to him? Okay, sir. Yeah. Shiva Kumar, one yeah. minute. Yeah, 9353. Yeah. Um, I will give it to you, Jitin. So you can talk, ask him some doubts regarding agriculture doubts. I know you told yes. me that your sister it, herself is agriculture, but then you yes. will not talk f freely with her. That is why I am asking you to talk to him to know whatever doubts you are having. Achha, yes, Jitin, you, Jitin did, did you go through this 73 pages questions? Which question, sir? That I have given it in the folder. IBPSPO okay. interview. Did you go through them or not? These are all taken from there only. Oh and yes, then, yes, yeah. A uh, few of them, few of them I have gone through. I mean, uh, while attending the class, I'm going through that. What is the normal NPA, Jitin? Nor, uh, no, non, agri non agricultural advances. NPA means what? Not sure, sir. Non agricultural in agriculture sector. Ag agriculture, tell me. Agriculture sector, what is NPA? So, from what See, I like, read, no, no, uh, I, will ex I will explain about it. See, in the case of loans, when we grant, we expect them to repay properly. But due to some reasons, the loan installment or interest is not repaid for a period of 90 days from its due date. Then such an account is called as NPA. First time, the initially it will be classified under substandard account. Otherwise, where an installment is paid properly, everything is coming correctly, it is known as standard assets. Now, once the default happens, it comes under substandard. It will stay there for one year. And from 13th month to 24th month, it is called D1, doubtful assets. And from 25th month to 36th month, it is called D2. From 36th month, it is called D3. At every stage, the account is falling into that. It is causing an alarming signal to the bank. Look, you should take keen interest on this account to recover. So once an account is classified as substandard, if it is a secured advance, bank will provide 15% of the total amount as provision. If it is an unsecured advance, they will provide 25% of the total advance as provision. Similarly, once the account shifts to D1 category, they if it is secured, say 25, unsecured 40, then once it becomes D2, it becomes 40, 100. Then D3, 100, 100. Full percentage, supposing 10 lakhs has become NPA. Bank has to debit its expenditure account with 100 rupees and keep it as a provision. Now what happens? Because of this NPA, what happens? One, the bank cannot take the income from that account to in, to sorry, the interest from that account to its income. So income is reduced. Then we have to provide for that. Our loss is increased. So that is why we don't like NPA. 
that is why what they do after so much of NPA is accumulated, banks are transferring them to A or C, asset reconstruction companies who buy it from the banks at a discount. 100 rupees NPA account, they will take at 50 rupees. Then they will take steps for recovery. That is known as asset reconstruction companies. They are also known as bad banks. The same definition is different for agriculture loans. Agriculture short-term loans, if an account has been be, uh, unpaid for two crop seasons, that is one year, then it is classified as NPA. If it is a long-term loan, like sugarcane and all, if the loan is outstanding from the due date for one full year or one crop season, the long crop season, what? One year. Then it will be considered as NPA. But one problem with agriculture advances is that one, agriculture property cannot be brought to sale. Two, agriculture income is fully exempted from income tax. That is why majority of the North, uh, the um, politicians like Sharad Pawar, they have huge lands and they get huge amounts and they divert some money which they get as corruption into this also. So that is what is known as agricultural income is fully exempted from income tax. So these are the points I thought I should tell you. And um, yeah, these things will be very deeply asked only for MCOM, MBA and BCOM students. Okay. What is KCC? Why KCC is needed? See, KCC is advantageous because once the papers are submitted, the limit is sanctioned and the card is given. If the borrower, namely the agriculture, is repays within the one year period, he will get interest subvention of 3%. Not only that, he will also get the limit renewed for next one year. Five years it will continue. And the last point, this one, I don't know what it is. Anybody knows what is this? Sure. Achha, achha. Very easy. Basic savings bank deposit account. That's a very easy. Basic savings bank deposit account. That is coming under Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana. See, sometimes even when I read, I am not able to decipher it. It should not be so good. Very good. So we have done some pages today. Maybe we will do other pages afterwards. You please go through the questions and try to find the answers. Best wishes. Any sir, questions? Please? Yeah. Sir, actually, KCC is just like a normal credit card, right? Kisan credit card. Normal credit card. Normal credit card like only. But uh, the limit will be granted only for agriculturists. He may be a owner mm -hmm. or he may be a tenant cropper. He must have acreage of land. If he has got one acre, then if he is cultivating sugar cane, he will be given some limit. If he is cultivating paddy, he will be given some other limit. And depending mm -hmm. on the area of land, and the crop grown, it is based on scale of finance that is determined by the um, lead bank. That is determined by the each district, you will be having a lead bank. And that lead bank will make a survey of the entire district and give reports about these are the professions in which we have to concentrate more like that. They will allocate funds for different banks to make finance. So that is known as lead bank scheme. This is there 
right from the year 1969 or so gadigal committee report so that is there and that's why you please check up what is the name of lead bank in your district that okay, is also the, the lead bank is the bank with most number of branches right that, exactly in that particular okay, district in palakka or in palakka i think it's sbi or canara bank i don't know in oh. chennai chennai of course it is uh, iob iob chennai it is indian overseas bank i know you want to know pala card so the lead bank canara bank or sbi it must be district wise lead banks i am having a list here mm, you are asking about kerala kerala pala card sorry pala card when was the district formed acha acha it is canara bank canara bank yeah you know you are canara bank yes 37 anybody anybody, anybody anybody wants to know the lead bank of his district i am giving this link in our group i am giving this link in our group so in pn uh, in chennai it's uh, iob right in the now since that yeah in chennai iob yeah okay uh, shall we see that tamil nadu one minute hmm. tamil nadu yeah, but uh, some new districts may not be there in this Tamil Nadu, Chennai, okay, Chennai. It is na State Bank of India. Oh, Baba. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm, I am wrong. But I think Indian Overseas Bank is in respect of IBPS, IBPS recruitment and all. They are the leading bank for arranging for interviews and all that. They are the lead bank. But lead bank okay. for normal purposes. it is um, chennai it is state bank not iob and indian bank is so, leading salem. bank for kadal salem must be indian bank i was there na i was there so, yeah. salem indian bank yeah. yeah indian bank correct indian bank is the sponsor bank for tamil nadu tamil nadu so it is yeah yeah that that is why you should know and the chairman's name is shanti lal jain md and ceo Shanti Lal Jain. He will be there till December. Very good. Best wishes. Thank you so much. We have oh, been discussing yes, for a long. Um, we'll meet again tomorrow. The system is six o'clock morning. I am having interview six thirty. Then seven thirty. That's all. Tomorrow that much. The evening I will have classes from six o'clock mock interviews. then 8 o'clock also somebody have allotted anyhow best wishes we'll meet tomorrow thank you but today no questions have come na today was there interview or not yes there was interview but why nobody has sent any questions thank you bye sir sir one minute yeah uh, up to what date our classes will be uh, continue we i will be there online till the interviews are there Okay, I have on twenty second. So, no, no. Till the RRB interviews, now it is like this. I think in Punjab, Rajasthan, and all, it is going to start after twenty first only. Okay. So I think I will be there online till month end at least, or after right. that also. Thank you. Thank you, sir.